Here I have three pages to demonstrate. So the first one is bad page, the second one is better, and the third one is even better page. So let's take a look why the first page is bad and let's first let's see the implementation of it first. This is the implementation of the bad page. And as you can see, we have this page right here. It fetched the data from this function and it's rendered this one right here. And if you look at this function to fetch the data, which is this one, it fetched from this API. And right here, I just add another three seconds to make this function a little bit longer, okay? So, so this function is going to take at least three seconds to complete. And right now, this is the implementation of it. And let's try to navigate to this page and see why it's bad. When I click on this page right here, right now it, it's hanging. So as you can see, and three seconds later, I can see this uh, content right here. And if you can take a look at the score, so this is like take three seconds to complete. So this is very bad for the user experience because on the initial load, which means that the user is going to see blank, 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 blank. And then three seconds later, the user will see the content. So this is it's crucial, for some example, for some website, if the user navigate to your page and then they show blank, 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 and then show the content. So the user probably not interested in using this anymore. And you probably has this argument that, okay, well, this actually, this is not my problem, but this is because of the backend problem, because of this API, this is very slow. Well, in, if you make this argument, well, you are right in some case, but, but we have also the feature that allow you to make the page and give the user a better experience, even though the API is so slow as well. So right now, let's take a look at the second page, the better page and the better page it's going to solve the problem like this. So right now, if I click on the better page, so right now the user will see something first on the screen. At least they see some loading, right? And then after three seconds later, they will see this content right here. So it means that on the initial load, the, at least our page is respond to the user something that, okay, hey, uh, right now we're doing some loading. We have some fetching and things like that. And then so when after that, we show the content. So this is better for the user experience because we give them back like something back to them at least to respond to them something with something and if you look at the implementation which is this page right here is completely the same as there's no difference from the previous page but we just adding the loading right here and so the loading right here you can just replace this with your skeleton loading of your page and then it will render that so this is better for the user but there's another way that you can make this one even better for the user, which is uh, this one. So first you can take a look on this implementation and you can ask yourself that, well, is this part of this application is needed to, uh, to wait for the API to complete in order to render? If you can see that only this part right here that, that needed the data from this one to render, right? So this part is not needed from the API in order to make this one render. So why don't we show this part to the user first? And then this one, we can show the user later when it's complete. So this is what the implementation of the third page does. So the, what the third page uh, does is, is doing something like this. So right now, we move the fetch API from this part right here into its own component because th that it's where it's needed, right? And so this part, we can just use this the same as before. And if you look at the joke component, this is the server component that fetch the data and display it. And then the difference is that we add the subspan around this joke. And right now, if you look at the result of this one, when I click on even better joke, so you can see some part of the page is shown to the user and some part that is taking too long or that depend on like the uh, other or external API, it's show up later depend on like the duration or how long it takes to complete it. So you can see this is give the user a better experience uh, to use your application because uh, right now when the user click, it sees something first and that's why it's gonna, it, uh, and some part of that is needed to come later, we can show them loading so they can see that, okay, this part is need, uh, it's doing something right here. So I this, this is my approach and a better approach that I like to do. And so yeah, um uh, right now um make sure that you do not go into implement this bad page right here and yeah that's what i wanted to share with you for today and all right so let me know in the comment what do you think about this one if you learned something 
please drop it down in the comments below and if you have any question or anything just uh ping drop in the comment below as well maybe i can try to uh have answer those questions and all right as always thank you for watching hopefully you learned something don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video